Now to this video showing the moments leading up to a violent carjacking in Philadelphia. The victim is in the hospital tonight after four men pulled him from his car and then one of them shot him. NBC 10's Brian Sheehan is live just outside of police headquarters. Brian, many neighbors are describing this victim as a leader in the community. Tell us more. Yeah, Rosemary, family friends tell us his name is Raheem Bell. He's a father and overall positive influence in the Northeast who is at Temple University Hospital tonight in critical condition. I've been knowing Raheem for some years now. Um, I watch him grow up. He's a good, upstanding young man. He's a pillar in our community. Nika Burnett says her friend and neighbor, 27-year-old Raheem Bell, now needs the community's help getting justice. He has a beautiful family. He comes from a wonderful home, and we just need the violence to stop. This surveillance video obtained by NBC10 News shows the moment four men carjacked Bell as he sat in his silver Mercedes at the intersection of Cheltenham. Avenue and Large Street in Oxford Circle around 4.45 Sunday morning. But we won't show you the moment they pulled him from the driver's seat and one of them shot him in the stomach. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Neighbors describe Bell as a positive fixture who hosted a Christmas toy drive last year for families affected by the pandemic and recently started a home care company to help those in need. Chris Dinafa lives across the street. He's very down to her, very polite, always would uh, always smiling, always doing things for the neighbors, like helping the neighbors sell all. Dinava and others are pleading for the city's leaders to find a way to control the violence so they don't have to live in fear. I'm a little bit nervous about it, you know. To me, it's like, it's sad. It's time to relocate because it's like four times in uh, like, like two months' time with the shootings. Meanwhile, Burnett says Bell's family is asking for prayers. His family has been a backbone for our community, and I just feel like it's time that we be a backbone to them. So those four men have not been arrested. Philadelphia police are asking for the public's help in locating Bell's car. They're also asking anyone who has information on the carjacking itself to contact them. We're live outside police headquarters. I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. We'll be following this. Thanks, Brian.